What's so wonderful about telling a spy story in six parts is that you get to go home with these characters. You get to see the innermost desires and conflicts within them. And so uh, I think the love story is its own spy game, you know, so to speak. You know, when I first started with Citadel, I didn't realize you were a part of it. I loved yeah. Hunters, so yeah. I love what you are bringing to awesome. Citadel. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. My first question is, I find it fascinating that we start with Citadel having fallen. Does that make the storyline easier to kind of like play around with? Or is it actually harder having to go back and forth between its height and now it's a uh, denouement? What a great question. Really, what a great question. Um you know, I think there's both opportunity and challenge in that decision. Uh, and part of it came because I wanted to do something different, right? Like, how do we, we clearly, you know, we as storytellers, Joe and Anthony and myself and the incredible team uh, of Citadel, we love spies. We love the spy genre. We love spy films. Um, but we also wanted to try to do something different, to take those conventions and turn them on their head. Uh, so to start at a place of crisis, of catastrophe, and then have to like rebuild you know, from that place was a great challenge, but I think out of it came incredible opportunity. Also, speaking of opportunity, we know that there is the plan for spinoffs, different parts of the world to be yes. involved and have their own teams. How have you set the stage for that in season one? What is so unique about Citadel is that it's not based on any IP. There's no singular novelist who created an entire mythology. Uh, it's really a team, you know? And so I'm so fortunate to work with incredible creators from India and from Italy who are working on and creating their own shows. Uh, and together, we're really building at the same time this grand tapestry uh, of story, uh, which is Citadel. So, um, you know, it's it's in a sense, not even, you know, we'll start and then you pick up where we leave off, but like together, we're really all sort of building together. We have this global writer's room every other week where we meet, we talk about ideas, things we learned, we learn from each other. And so I've never heard of anything like this. I've never been a part of anything like this. Um, that's probably been the most special part of this entire experience. So I'm so excited for you to see also their series. They're absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'm very excited as well. That's That sounds so fascinating. Obviously, uh, Priyanka, incredible, amazing, show-stopping. I love her. The best. Um, <laughs> now, I know she had mentioned even uh, having a scar from some stunts or action sequences because there are some crazy ones in these episodes. Uh, are there any that were hardest from your perspective or that you when you were like writing it down, you're like, oh man, I don't know how we're going to do this. <laughs> well, that, that's the fun thing about working with the Russos, right? It's like you can dream on the page. Uh, your grandest dream they can try and make come true. Uh, and that's a testament to them and to their teams and to the kind of precision that they can use to create a reality out of something imaginary. Um, man, I mean, they were all so tough. Like as a writer, for me, getting up from the monitor to go to craft services is like scary enough. So like Priyanka and Richard doing all their own stunts, uh, the incredible train fight, I think in particular, was probably the most exciting to me. Um, just because we get to see them in symbiosis, them as a duo, them as one organism working together. And they play in that sort of action set piece, you know, seduction, uh, the quiet, uh, but then also this explosive expression of violence and ability. And so I, I loved it for that reason. Yeah, I love that. I also love that, you know, ongoing tension between them as, as a romance lover myself. How do you weave that along with the explosive violence throughout the season? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it was a dance. It was certainly a dance. But I think uh, what's so wonderful about telling a spy story in six parts is that you get to go home with these characters. You get to see the innermost desires and conflicts within them. And so uh, I think the love story is its own spy game, you know, so to speak. Fabulous. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. Thank you so much. So good to see you. Thanks again. You too. Have a great day. See you soon. You as well.